take the Dwayne Anedia out on her maiden voyage. Of course, I'm terrible with the selfie video, selfies in general. But that's Dwayne. We just put the canopy up. There you see it. And we're here at the beautiful Mount Hope boat launch. And uh, we're going to get this baby in the water. Well, that's what... That's it... something I'm learning, right? So, All right. Yeah, because... So here it is at the boat launch. Dwayne's just going to put a few things down and unhook a few things and then drive it in backwards into the water like we think it's supposed to work. We've only done this once with the other boat. This is the first time with this boat, so we're hoping it goes smoothly and we're hoping that we have patient people behind us. Right? Well, I'm hoping for nobody behind us. Ha! Even better. <laughs> That's our, one of our nice pen, pen rods. We're probably going to troll with that and see if we can't catch something a little bigger. Or if we see something popping on the water, we brought binoculars this time. What I want to do. That one locks in the poles, right? There it is. Yeah, the poles are locked in. I'm actually going to even tip it up a bit. There you go. Alrighty, so we'll see you at the boat launch in two seconds. Wow, the bay is like glass today. It's supposed to be 80 degrees. The haze is supposed to burn off and we're going to have a little more sun. But to be honest, I'm okay with the, the, the haze. It gets really hot sometimes when the sun's out blazing and you're on a boat. It's kind of like a big mirror. you got to be careful about sunburn and stuff. But this is the boat launch and it's pretty quiet here this morning. Yeah, so I was saying we got it on uh, Labor Day because somebody in Dartmouth and we're in Swansea um, had to get rid of it real fast and uh, mark that price down and we just went over there, hit the ATMs to get some cash and that was it. Pretty good. If, uh, if this thing is really fun and the motor works and we get this out on the water and test it out for the money, I can't believe the deal. And guess what? She floats and she's in the water. Dwayne's taking the trailer back up, and I'm going to try and get in here. There we go. Here I am. I'm actually in the boat, and it was really easy to get in from the floating dock. I was a little afraid of that. I actually bought some steps because I'm a little tiny short thing, but it worked out. So here it is on the boat, on the dock. Dwayne went to go park the, uh, the car in the lot. Should be coming along directly. Hopefully I'll get him in the shot. down that radio it is kind of fallish this morning but we're still uh, gonna take the new old boat out on the water um, with some work that Dwayne has done over the last week right. on the steering column is that what you call that the well I had the steering cable steering cable frozen. and spark plugs and I don't know all kinds of other stuff so it's really the first real test um, we did practice getting the boat in and out of the water already, and oh, we did because we went to a new trailer and so. got a new trailer. So this is going to be part two of the video that you're currently watching. But this is a whole new trip on a completely different day. I think this is the third third Still video. Technically from... a test run. Yeah, it is a test run. But so. let's see if we can get some footage of catching fish on a test run. That that would be the key. Yeah, we caught some last time. Yeah. On the first voyage. So right. I'm gonna try again. All right, so this is the second time we're taking this boat out for a ride, and uh, you're coming along with us, and uh, hopefully we catch some fish and uh, you get a little bit of our uh, fishing action. If not, then you'll see us 
not catching, but fishing rather. Okay, see you at Brian. the dock. All right, look at that blue sky, huh? Uh, yeah. nice day. There's no one here in front of us on the dock. Dwayne's getting the boat kind of prepped and ready. Right. The new trailer is so high, we actually have to go on little, here little, uh, yeah, to get in. But the little ladder, uh, and actually I bought a little footstool from Amazon. It'll be here, fits in the back of the car, no sweat. All right, here's your dock line. My right. dock line, one and the other, and the other one's right up there. front. Power, power, power. Get that cover off. Yep. Let's see the conditions out here. It's a little windy. It's actually probably 60 degrees. Yeah, there's more waves today than when we came out. Oh, there's definitely more waves, yep. Nice and blue. Definitely nice and blue. All righty. There she comes into the water. So far, so good. And here comes another boat. So it's day two of the same weekend and um, today's Sunday we're taking the boat out again the boat actually ran really well uh, a little miscalculating on the amount of gas it would take and the gas gauge has to be replaced and Dwayne will take care of that but we're going out fishing again today I'm trying to um, get more actual fishing footage I think yesterday I got more of the scenery and things like that um, and then once we started fishing I didn't really take the, the camera out that much I think today we're going to try and change that and uh, once we get really comfortable with just like driving the boat, using the boat, uh, navigating around, using the fish finder, I think um, Dwayne will start wearing the um, GoPro and we'll get a lot more action. So we'll see you in the water. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys.
sound right, boy. Alright guys, uh, we're off on another fishing adventure. This is probably and part four or five of the video that we started a few weeks back. There's nobody here. There was a, that Hurricane Fiona came through the other day and last night and it was out to sea and it really stirred things up, a lot of wind, and I think it scared off a lot of people. So, it didn't scare us off. We're here, we're going out on a trip and we're taking you with us. It's so, a little chilly, that's why I'm bundled there's up. There's a little breeze, yeah, I, I don't get cold. So, um, yeah, we'll see you out there. Hopefully the we're showing some nice fish. Dress in layers. Yeah, I, I do have a windbreaker, but I'm just, I don't need it. So. Well, See you soon. I even brought ice fishing gloves. Well, you get cold hands. Hun, so, these are the best twenty dollars. Those are I nice. Those are, yeah, those are nice. So, and they're waterproof. We'll see you soon. Well, I foul hooked them, but uh, here we are. But we have to, we should keep it going. In an amazing little spot. And it's a keeper. It is a keeper. It's uh, actually not too bad out here. Once in a while we have In to this area, there's a lot of current, but we're right at the edge of it. I'm going to try to get this guy off. He is very fat. And we've only been here five minutes. And that's fish. And I will oh, take it. Oh, I got something. And she's got a fish. Well, let's Very see what let's see what she brings up. Very small. A little something. Actually, uh, smaller, not quite keeper, but, but look, something got my crab. There are tugs down there. We are tug fishing and really hoping to find them. Yeah. That's not a keeper, but you know what? We got him hooked in so he's gonna swim away perfectly. I'll tell you, we came through five feet of water to get here. And this is about 20 feet or so right here. So there you go. This fish. There's something oh, there. Yes, I do. It doesn't oh, do anything. So do I. <laughs> and look, I'm oh, real. Oh man, it's a jumbo. It's a nice big scup. I don't know what I got. I got. Hey, it's hey, a wait. jumbo. And you got the bigger one. Yeah. <laughs> but there you go. There it is. They are definitely here. <laughs> and they're not babies. I'm even gonna put my pole this in the water. A little heavier. No, maybe not. Maybe I follow up with some baby. We'll see. Oh, it looks like another scop. Oh, it's a baby compared to the ones we were catching. Yeah, bring it in. There All right, guys. Go. I mean, uh, I think we're closing in on 10 scup in an hour. But, oh, we're only keeping the ones that are over 12. And this is actually, so it's a 10 inch minimum. I'll measure it. This is 10 inches. Bye-bye. We'll catch you next we're year. We're keeping 12 and up. So, and we're trying not to even keep too many of those. But you yeah. get what you get. Keep reeling. You got that. You didn't lose it. It stopped fighting. Oh, it's, it's a tog. All right. Holy sweet. Crap. There we go. It's a tog. Get it over the boat. Ah, yes. Is that 16? I think you might have a keeper. <laughs> it's a tog. <laughs> uh, hold on. Measurement coming it. up. Measurement. All right. Pull the out of my way. Yeah. 16. Woohoo! <laughs> we can only keep 
one over 21. Oh, yeah. Big scuff. <laughs> That's a monster scuff. It's a jumbo. Yeah. yeah I'll, uh, Holy, this is the biggest one of the day. That's, I think so. Yeah. One of the biggest of the season, really. I, I think that's one, my personal best porgy, my personal best scuff. And you were like, oh, I don't know. It's not really fighting. Let's see if it's your personal best. 13, your best is 14. Yeah, that's a good one, though. I've only caught one 14. And... And that was fat. The other 14 Very was skinnier fat. at the beginning of the season. It's going to be maybe like better than the one that I'm hoping it's a, it's a dog. I just had a little oh, no, scup. It's a scup. Oh, it's a big scup. All right, bring it in. That's a really massive scup. I mean, wow. these are no joke. Those are radioactive scups. <sighs> that one must be a 12 or a 13, right? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, big enough to catch a second hook. That's 13. <laughs> yes. 